Ivor Robinson was an American mathematical physicist, born and educated in England. He was a principal organizer of the Texas Symposium on Relativistic Astrophysics. Biography <inaudible> 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 Born in Liverpool, October 7, 1923, into a comfortable Jewish middle class family, Robinson studied at Cambridge University. His only degree was a BA in 1947. His first academic placements were at University College of Wales, King's College, London, University of North Carolina, University of Hamburg, Syracuse University, and Cornell University. Alfred Schild was developing a department strong in relativity at Austin, Texas, when a second Texas Center for Relativity Research was proposed. Lloyd Berkner was directing the Southwest Center for Advanced Studies at Dallas and brought Robinson there in 1963 when it was a «windowless cube on the Southern Methodist University campus». Robinson was head of the Mathematics and Mathematical Physics Division. This institution became the University of Texas at Dallas. Ivor was charged with the formation of a mathematical physics group concentrating on general relativity and cosmology. He brought Istvan Ozsvor and Wolfgang Rindler to Dallas. According to Rindler, no one who knew him will forget what a brilliant conversationalist he was, with his sonorous deep voice and ultra-English accent, with his convictions and occasional mischievousness. Ivor Robinson is a brilliant mathematician who showed us the elegant simplicity of space-time by pointing to its null structure. Robinson retired in 2000, but remained Professor Emeritus in the Department of Mathematical Sciences at the University of Texas at Dallas. Robinson contributed to the development of the Bell-Robinson tensor. Roger Penrose credited him as an important influence in the development of twister theory. Symposium series Astrophysical sciences developed with attention to spectra of celestial sources to ascertain the chemical origin of these sources. The addition of radio astronomy extended the range of these spectra and revealed quasi-stellar sources with peculiar spectra. Martin Schmidt and Jesse Greenstein found extreme red shifts in their studies, which demanded an explanation. Relativistic astrophysics offered its services as a generator of models such as black holes and their environs. Robinson, Shucking, and others organized the first Texas Symposium on Relativistic Astrophysics for December, 1963, in Dallas. The proceedings were published by University of Chicago Press as Quasi-Stellar Sources and Gravitational Collapse. It is now conventional wisdom that quasars are probably powered by rotating black holes, but it was here at Dallas that the black hole concept emerged as a serious astronomical hypothesis. The following year, a second symposium, had quasars and high-energy astronomy as its published proceedings. The series continued with symposia in alternate years. The sixth symposium, held in New York in 1972, had its proceedings published by the New York Academy of Sciences. The following volumes of the Annals of the Academy are proceedings of the Symposium series, 224, 264, 302, 336, 375, 422, 470, 571, 647, 688, and 759. 
In 1974 the symposium was back in Dallas, but then it traveled, Boston, Munich twice, Baltimore, Austin twice, Jerusalem, Brighton, Berkeley, Paris, and Stanford. From the point of view of astrophysics, a rotating black hole corresponds to a Kerr metric. The astronomical picture of a quasar involves an active galactic nucleus with a supermassive black hole. The symposium series went for 22 meetings, finishing in 2004 after Robinson retired. Topic: <laughs> Works. 1960 with Andre Troutman, Spherical Gravitational Waves, Physical Review Letters 4 to 431. 1961, "'Null Electromagnetic Fields", Journal of Mathematical Physics 2-290, 1 DOI, 10.1063, 1.1073, 1962, with Peter G. Bergman and Engelbert Schucking, "'Asymptotic Properties of a System with Non-Zero Total Mass". Physical Review 126 1227 DOI, 10.1103, FISREV.126.1227 1962, with A. Troutman, "...some spherical gravitational waves in general relativity." Proceedings of the Royal Society ADOI, 10.1098, RSPA.1962.0036 1963, with Alfred Schild, "...generalization of a theorem by Goldberg and Sachs", Journal of Mathematical Physics 4-484 DOI, 10.1063, 1.1073, 1980 1964, with A. Troutman, "...exact degenerate solutions of Einstein's equations", in Relativistic Theories of Gravitation edited by Leopold Infeld, Pergamon Press 1969, with J. R. Robinson and J. D. Zund, "...degenerate gravitational fields with twisting rays." Journal of Mathematics and Mechanics 18 9, 881-92 1969, with A. Schild and H. Strauss, "...the generalized Riesner-Nordstrom solution", International Journal of Theoretical Physics 2 3, 243-5 DOI, 10.1007, BF 0067010 1969, with Joanna R. Robinson, "...vacuum metrics without symmetry", International Journal of Theoretical Physics 2, 3, 231-42 DOI, 10.1007, BF 0067009 1975, "...on vacuum metrics of type 3, 1. General Relativity and Gravitation 6 4, 423-7 DOI, 10.1007, BF 0076-1974 1976, with Jerzy Plebanski, "...left degenerate vacuum metrics", Physical Review Letters 37 9, 493 DOI, 10.1103 FISREVLET.37.493 1977, with Alberto Garcia and J. F. Plebanski, "...null strings and complex Einstein-Maxwell fields with cosmological constant." General Relativity and Gravitation 8 10, 841-54 DOI, 10.1007, BF 0075958 1978, with J. Plebanski, "...electromagnetic and gravitational hertz potentials", Journal of Mathematical Physics 19 2350-8 DOI, 10.1063, 1.523593 
1982, Null Congruences and Plebansky Schild Spaces. In Spacetime and Geometry, The Alfred Schild Lectures, University of Texas Press 1983, with A. Troutman, "...conformal geometry of flows in n dimensions." Journal of Mathematical Physics 24-1425 1984, with Christoph Rosger, "...lightlike contractions on Minkowski spacetime." Journal of Mathematical Physics 25, 3, 499 505 DOI, 10.1063, with Christoph Rosger, On some family of congruences of null strings. Journal of Mathematical Physics 25, 3, 589 to 96 DOI 10.1063 1984 with Christoph Rosger Congruence of null strings in complex spacetimes and some Cauchy Kovalevsky type problems Journal of Mathematical Physics 25 6, 1941-6 DOI, 10.1063, with Istvan Osvath and Christoph Rosger, "...plane-fronted gravitational and electromagnetic waves in spaces with cosmological constant." Journal of Mathematical Physics 26 7, 1755-61 DOI, 10.1063-1.526887 with Peter A. Hogan, "...the motion of charge test particles in general relativity." Foundations of Physics 15 5, 617 to 27 DOI 10.1007 BF 0188248 1985 with A Troutman Integrable Optical Geometry Letters in Mathematical Physics 10 2 to 3 DOI 10.1007 BF 0039815 1993, with Edward P. Wilson, "...the generalized Taub nut congruence in Minkowski spaces", General Relativity and Gravitation 25 3. 1993, with André Troutman, "...the conformal geometry of complex quadrics and the fractional linear form of Mobius transformations." Journal of Mathematical Physics 34 11, 5391 5406 DOI, 10.1063, 1.530311 1997, "...on the Bell-Robinson tensor". Classical and Quantum Gravity 14 1A, A331-3 1998, with Paul McAlevey an invariant of type n spaces classical and quantum gravity 15 12 3935 6 2000 with bogdan nita an invariant of null spinor fields classical and quantum gravity 17 10 2149 52 2002, with P. Downs, P. McAlevey, and B. Nita. Approximate solutions of type 3, 1, and 4. International Journal of Modern Physics A17, 20, 2733, 4.